last time I showed you these clips but I had to recess them in because when the when the carpet goes over them it wouldn't fit very well on this one here you can see I put some tape on it the tailgate here I'm going to leave till last this section from here to here I'm going to get try and get a wide piece of rubber and pop rivet that on to, to close that gap there's the rubber I put on the tailgate this is actually a special rubber I didn't even know you could get it apparently it's a real big problem this gap when you're using the ute for commercial purposes you know you dragging out cement or gravel or whatever it falls in this gap gets trapped in between the tailgate so yeah I bought that as a special rubber so that's really cool that's fixed down there I pot riveted it along here and filled it with silicon so that tidies that gap up I was gonna do plywood and carpet on the lid there but I just don't see the point it's going to be hard to close this gap up we're going to get stuff in where the handle is so i'm just going to leave it as it is it's fine just to sit on when you're having a brew or it's a nice sunny day so that's that's all i need going inside i've carpeted the whole thing now from last time up the front here i've carpeted all in here I've got some bits and pieces in here already I went mad on the nets I've got a small one there on this side here I've got some as well they open up like that I've got a couple there I've got my little box here which I intend to keep all my food and bits and pieces in that's going to push back there I've got nets on this side one here I've got a few bits and pieces in there already another one here I've got a 10 litre water container in here that's it there that fits in there that I've, I've got some space at the front there for some other bits and pieces on this side I've got some stuff down in here my chair and what have you down in there my rain cape towel bits and pieces in there bushman spray for flies yeah so the, the, these ones here work really well you can get a lot of stuff in those I've got another 10 litre water container here it's a bit more fancy one this is called a Moby garden the thing there which is the water spout on the other end which is handy there that fits in that space there I put angles all the way around there an angle along the bottom of there and just basically closed it off in the end I did all the sides over the wheel arches both sides right through because over the wheel arches there it's just wasted space so I thought I might as well utilize it all for storage so that's basically how it looks when it's finished there I didn't show you the fixing down of the carpet there's enough videos showing you how that happens this is a car carpet obviously for here and the one I've got on the bottom here which is is, is really nice and soft that's a that's a marine grade carpet they take a bit more wear and tear I put angles around everywhere around both edges there along the t along the tops of there all the way along I've just basically tidied it up but yeah I think it looks pretty uh pretty okay coming outside there and that's what it looks like 
inside. This is how I planned it to work. I've got to have my head this end near the tailgate. I'll take that sleeping bag off there for a minute. My feet have to go down that end because of that ledge there. I can't have my head underneath that. I'm going to wake up in the middle of the night and smash my head on that shelf. So the feet, my feet go down that end. And my head's going to come up this end near the tailgate. Throw the sleeping bag back on there. Like that. And then I've got my... pillow stuff with my jacket there I can always bring a pillow from home of course so that's that gonna work there and I've got somewhere to sit on there my ground chair I pot rivet some hundred mil wide rubber on there to fill that gap and I've done exactly the same on this side so there's no gaps there. I'm not going to get any drafts through there. And the rubber seal I showed you before on the outside, that seals that nicely along there with this piece of angle. So that pretty much makes it draft proof. I may have to get a new rubber for along the back here as well to shut that out. But basically, when it slams shut there, it's pretty well draft proof. Well, I hope it is anyway. When I sleep in here overnight, I'll let you know if it is. I've taken the light out of the ceiling there. Where those holes are there, that's where I'm gonna get a, uh, I think it's called a, a Moby vent. It's a really low profile vent. It only goes up about 50 mil. It sucks air into it as you're driving along and it also operates when you're still. It's not too expensive, so I'm going to get one of those. The windows, I'm just going to leave them. It's not as if I'm going to be driving this and camping in the city somewhere where I need seclusion, I need block out blinds or whatever. All my hikes are going to be out in the open countryside. So I'm not too concerned about that. I'm not uh, not looking not to be seen. I'll be discreet, of course I will. But it's not like I'm uh, parking up in the city somewhere. Yeah, so that's my setup, pretty much. I've got my uh, Helinox ground chair, which I can sit on. I can lie on my thermo air mattress if I feel like it or alternatively of course I can sit in the front in the in the driver's cab and sit there as well also because I'm doing this on my own I've got storage in the front passenger seat there I might make a box to fit all some other gear in there so I just use use these storage lockers on each side for my small stuff that I need at hand and the other stuff can go in the front there. So yes, it seems to have worked out pretty well. It feels pretty cozy. I can sit in here and read a book or whatever. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it's gone. And I hope to see on my next venture, which is gonna be taking this down towards Albany to do a couple of hikes down there and I'll show you how that works out. Take care and I hope to see you on another video soon. Goodbye.